Hi guys, I'm Miro. Welcome to the next part of my series about ASP.NET Core 2. In this video we will once again implement the CRUD operations for one of our classes. So let's dive in. Open the book controller and we can start with the create function. This function will be public, return I action result, name will be create and with the parameters. And since the user should be able to choose an author from some dropdown element, we have to deliver this author somehow. For this we are going to need a new view model. Select the view model folder, Ctrl Shift A to create a new element, select class and I will name this class book view model and hit the add button. This class will have only two properties. You can create properties with the prop snippet. So just type prop tap tap and the type will be book and I will name this property book as well. So and one more property and this will be collection of authors and I will name this collection authors as well. Okay close this tab and back to our create method. Now we have to create new view model. We have to import using library management course view model. Okay. Now we have to load all authors with the authors repository and pass this data to the create view. Okay. Then the user has to enter a name for this book and select the author as well. He will then send this data back to our controller with the HTTP POST request. So I will annotate the next method with the HTTP attribute. And this method will be public, return I action result, and name will be create as well. And we will receive back our book view model. We will grab the book from the book view model, add this to the book repository and redirect back to the list view. The update method will be almost the same. So I will speed this up and copy and paste this create method. The only difference will be that we have to accept an ID. We will load book by this ID. And in the second method, we will update instead of create. And we are missing only the delete method. So public I action result delete. We have to accept an ID and I will just load this book. Remove this book from repository. And redirect back to the list view. And this will be everything for this video. In the next part, we'll create all views for the book class. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe and see you in the next video.